Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today I'm going to discuss about the Union Budget 2018, specifically for RBA Grade B exam or any other competitive exam, right? So let's start. So first of all, the tax labs, income tax labs, uh, kept unchanged. There is no change in the this tax labs up to two lakh of fifty thousand. There is no tax. Then there is five percent from two and a half lakh to five lakhs per annum and then these are the normal tax layers tax labs i think you are all all of you have already gone through that from 5 lakh to 10 lakh there is 20 percent then from 10 lakhs there is 30 percent tax so if the income exceeds from 50 lakh up to 1 crore there is a surcharge of 10 percent and beyond 1 crore there is a surcharge of 15 percent besides this surcharge there is a single change the one of the most important change in the tax lab table is the cess this says used to be three percent but now that says the education says it has been increased to four percent from three percent to four percent it has been increased and that money will be used for the Modi KL. That is the name used by many newspapers, but it's the name of scheme is Ayushman Bharat that I'm going to discuss about it in the latest slides. So let's move on. Uh, then for the senior citizen, uh, for the people from age of 60 up to 80, right? Because for the citizen from uh, of, uh, of age of 80 plus, there is a separate slab for them up to 3 lakh there is no tax then from 3 lakh to 5 lakh there is a 5 percent then 5 lakh to 10 lakh there is 20 percent and then there is from uh, income more than 10 lakh there is 30 percent tax so again there is a surcharge of 10 percent when the income is from 50 lakh to 1 crore and 15 percent when the income exceeds 1 crore and then again there is a surcharge of 4 percent on the total income tax and surcharge uh, there is a cess of 4%, sorry for that, cess of 4% on the total income tax and surcharge. That is important thing that you need to know. The surcharge has been, had been increased from 3% to 4% and how it is calculated, whatever the income tax that, uh, income tax that has been, uh, we come after these slabs, right? Suppose the income tax is, let's say it's like 12 lakh rupees there will be a surcharge no there will be no surcharge at this point suppose uh, there is an income tax that is payable so if there is a surcharge that will be added right and on this amount a total of four percent of cess will be added to the net income tax payable so let's move forward the simplest part uh, the income tax labs for the senior citizens of 80 years 80 years old or more right so up to two and a half lakh up to five lakh there is no income tax then after five lakh the, that is actually normal the normal income tax labs are there uh, but for the surcharge only if the income ta income increase uh, exceeds one crore there is a 15 percent extra surcharge from 50 lakh to one crore there is no 10 percent surcharge that used to be you know uh, levied by uh, till the in, uh, income of 50 uh, this this surcharge is not applicable when the age of the citizen is 80 plus again the cess is levied 4 percent cess is levied even on the senior citizen of 80 years plus so uh, the important point cess has been increased for, from 3% to 4% uh, this will impact each and every income taxpayer. The next point see the transportation and medical allowances uh, by if we just total them there was an annual transportation and medical allowance that was given was 34,200. Uh, so this was a medical and transportation allowance that was given in a year to the salaried people but right now this uh, this allowance is not available this is removed and instead of that standard reduction of 40,000 has been brought by the Mr. Arun Jaitley so if you see it proper if you see it closely uh, they gave you 40,000 of standard reduction they took away 34,200 rupees of allowances that that, that that is transportation and medical allowances and they levied one percent extra 
uh, extra cells one percent cells is increased so all in all there is no impact on the net income tax that you are going to pay there is no impact so that was a really uh, you know bad thing for the middle class people like us so it means standard reduction is of no use education says is increased no medical and transportation allowances so one more important thing the corporate tax oh, sorry for that the corporate tax yeah the corporate tax is increased is reduced for from 30 percent to 25 percent for the companies having turnover up to 250 crores very important point students for the companies whose turnover is less than 250 crores that income tax the corporate tax is reduced from 30 percent to 25 percent important uh one of the most important policy students uh, on this single slide this policy this is ayushman bharat and the many news channel are claiming it to be modi care on the steps of obama care modi care everybody is calling it modi care uh, its name is actually ayushman bharat we are going to make a separate uh, video on this particular scheme ayushman bharat or modi care uh, a medi claim of 5 lakh will be provided to 40 crore poor in India or 10 crore families in India. Uh, and the second one on the basis of 2011 census, right? Uh, that 2011 census will be the basis. And the one more point 24 new medical colleges, 24 new medical colleges will be established will be opened 24 new medical colleges and hospitals will be opened uh, one college one medical college one medical medical college per three parliamentary constituencies right parliamentary parliamentary constituencies right so that is a big step that the mr arun jaitley took or the government actually took in this budget this is the most important part of the budget for even for the rba grade b exam this scheme the ayushman bharat scheme or the modi care scheme this is the most important part of the whole budget for rba grade b exam right so you need to focus on this i will make a, another lecture on this one more important point students if the taxpayer if the taxpayer doesn't file the return on time by the due date he won't be able to get the rebate for atc and atd are you getting it so for example there is a not uh, for individual there is last date to file the return is 31st july but what see what most of the people do is there is this is the due date this is the last day these are two dates actually 31st march so you can file the previous year's income tax return by 31st march but if you are doing this if you are not filing your income tax return by 31st july if you are an individual for business business return there i think the date is like 30 30th of september if you are not filing your return returns on time you won't be able to get the benefits of atc and atd one more thing one more important thing for the senior citizen the limit for ATD has been increased from 30,000 to 50,000 very important for senior citizens for senior citizens the limit of ATD is increased so limit for ATC is 1 lakh and 50,000 unchanged but for uh, limit for ATD that has been increased from 30,000 to 50,000 only for senior citizens next important point uh, that was actually a big no-no for the investors like us, right? So that was actually really bad for the long-term capital gain of uh, capital gain tax of 10% was introduced on mutual funds that is going to discourage the investors. So see students this budget uh, this 2018 budget was a big uh, it was a big setback for the mutual fund investor or the long term investor see uh, further in, in the further slides I'm going to discuss about the dividend distribution tax that was reintroduced the long term capital gain tax of 10% was introduced previously what was happening if if you uh, if you invested in some mutual fund for more than three years and you sell it now there there was no capital gain tax but right now you need to pay the capital gain tax of 10 percent 
long term capital gain tax of 10% there was short term capital gain tax but right now long term capital gain uh, tax was introduced on mutual fund that was actually bad so medical colleges i already told you and one more thing about it students uh, dividend distribution tax was reintroduced one one more bad thing ab about this budget is the dividend distribution tax the dividend uh the companies who are paying the dividends towards shareholders it was it used to be tax free but right now but now the government imposed the tax on dividend distribution right so that was a bad thing i mean it, the dividend distribution tax is 10 percent 10 percent is the dividend distribution tax whatever dividend you are getting you need to pay 10 percent to the government right so let's get back uh so one more good thing that the government is giving away eight crore 8 crore gas free gas connection 8 crore free gas connection free gas connection to the women under the Ojwala scheme so important points of this budget the number one the Ojwala scheme number two the Ayushman Bharat scheme so these are the two important you know points of this budget for the RBA grade B exam so the excise duty on petrol and diesel reduced but the new road says was introduced so there will be eight uh, eight percent of new road says is introduced so the effect of the the effect of re reducing the excise duty is neutralized right so you won't get cheaper petrol at all so dividend distribution tax no medical allowances so students that's actually all uh, just today actually i'm just providing the basic uh, summary of the the budget that is actually important for rbi grade b students uh, these are the some important point for the exams the ujwala schemes that was important this number you need to remember the 8 crore number this is also an important point if you are not filing your income tax return by time you won't be able to get the rebate for atc and att and the atd uh, rebate limit has been increased from 30000 to 50000 for senior citizens that is also important the mediclaim policy modi care or ayushman bharat is important corporate tax reduced from 30 percent to 25 percent for corporates having the turnover up to 22 uh, to 250 crores so transportation medical allowances taken back and new standard reduction provided education success has been increased so these are some important points that you need to remember for your exam students so it was actually first of all student one more important thing you should read yesterday's newspaper very important for you what i did is i just took the important points from the newspaper and from the budget speech right i just took the important points these are 12 important points that i just took from the budget speech that that are actually important for you that are important for salaried people or that are actually important for general public and these are actually very important for rba grade b exam i'm going to do another lecture on the schemes launched in uh, in the budget speech that are actually important for rba grade b exam so students that's all for today i hope you like this lecture see you in the next lecture thank you and have a nice day bye